Hello Geeky Saiyan Army, it's Kanan, here with a brand new unboxing video, and as you can see, it's a very, very, very special unboxing. Tonight, or today, whenever you're watching this, I am going to be unboxing my PlayStation 5. And, this video comes out on a very special day, though technically, I am recording this on Thursday night, right after I got back from work. This video is coming out on my birthday, so woohoo! Happy birthday to to me. Thank you for the birthday present, Sony, that I had to pay for. Actually, this this is a birthday gift to me from me. Anyway, yeah, so I'm going to be unboxing the system, showing off the controller. This thing is huge, and since we still don't have a technical great unboxing setup, it's going to be kind of a cluster, but hey... Um, before I get started, thank you all once again for th over 300 subscribers. Let's get to 500 before the end of Ruby season. I know we can do it. Let's get there. Now, before I open the system, I'm going to show off what games I got for it. I only got two, but these were the two that I mostly wanted. And, uh, we got Godfall. And, of course, we got... Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So yes, I am looking forward to playing both of those. Cannot wait. Alright, so let me grab my trusty box cutter here and let's do a fast forward while I try and get this humongous thing open. Let's see how I do. So before we get to the meat, let's get the potatoes first. Now, first of all, of course, you got the manuals. Who needs those? Now we got, whoops, this damn pot filter is going to be the death of me. Also, before I continue, I was reminded that Jess did help uh, pay for this thing, though technically we really did not pay a lot out of pocket for this system. I paid for the initial $50 deposit. And she put a little bit, I can't remember exactly the amount Jess put down. It was, you know, it wasn't small, but it wasn't like over $100 or anything. I don't think so. I can't really remember. But most of this I paid for in trade credit. So, you know, I've had this thing paid off for a good few months. Okay, so first we got the simple stuff. We got the controller cord. Thank you, Sony, for making it USB Type-C. So much better. We got... HDMI cord and of course the power cord you can't have a system without the power cord after that we have got this is the stand I've decided that I'm going to put mine vertically I just think it looks better vertical instead of horizontal so right here you have got the stand and the screw and everything you need is I think it moves like a wheel. Oh, yes, it does. See, look at this. There it is. That is so cool. All right. Now, the next big thing besides the system itself is... Ooh. The PlayStation 5 DualSense controller. So, let's... Oh, that's such, that's so nice feeling. Like, it is very, like, all right, let's see here. All right, the L2 and R2 buttons feel so much better. They actually feel a little bit more, like, they feel like they're there. Like, they don't feel like they're going to break off like the PS4 could. L1 and uh, R1 feel nice. The little touchpad feels nice. I thought it was funny because, like, the buttons, like, when we very first saw it, looked like they were drawn on, but they're, they're there. They feel very, very nice. Um, ooh, it already lights up, even though I don't have the system on. Um, 
the PlayStation button is no longer, like, it's not like a but. It, it's still a button. It's still there. It's just, it is just the symbol. It, it's not like a round button there. The analog sticks are very nicely textured. They feel like they've got some resistance to them. That feels nice. And really, the controller just feels really, really nice compared to the, the DualShock uh, 4. Um, and it doesn't feel like it's super... Like, the DualShock 3 for the PS3, which we still have, we still have a PS3, is very light. Like, it just feels like there's nothing inside of it. This one, it feels like, like, this is a very, very nice controller. And I'm going to compare something. Give me just a sec here. It, the texture on the back of the controller, it is legit very, very small uh, PlayStation symbols. It's the square, the triangle, the circle button, and the X button. I don't care if some people call it a cross button. To me, it'll always be the X button. Um, yes, it is exact. It it is that. That is so cool. I can eat. I can see it even without a magnifying glass. So, the Dual Sense PlayStation Five controller, very very nice controller. I really like. It. A lot of people didn't like the white and black. I I'm okay with it. I think it looks actually pretty nice. I, I do think there is going to be like an all black system, but um. I'm, ha I'm happy with this. This is very, very nice. Very, very, very nice controller. And I do believe it will work with PC as well. I'm going to test that out eventually. But uh, let's go back to fast forward as I get the actual system out. All right. I have got it here. Oh boy. And there you have it. There is the PlayStation 5. And I'm not going to lie, it's not like I I really thought it was going to be bigger. But even though this baby is thick, like oh boy, she is thick, but very very nice looking, very very sleek. Um, I love the way it looks. I could see how this right here is going to get very dusty. But, uh, you know, you are supposed to maintain your system and uh, take care of it. But um, all in all, very, very nice. So I am going to attach the stand to it. So I will be right back. And there you have it. Green screen might be messing with it a little bit. Yeah, see? There's a five. Now there's not a five. Okay. So controller system yeah the green screen is messing with it but oh well um so of course I, i've not got it hooked up yet or anything uh follow me on twitter i'll give my thoughts on twitter what i think about the performance how it sounds if it uh does get hot though a lot of people who have said they have uh, already had the playstation 5 say it doesn't they say it's very quiet um load speeds are very very high I'm just, I can't wait. I cannot wait to get this thing hooked up and get it going. So, yeah, that's my unboxing of the PlayStation 5. Pretty short video. Uh, but, yeah, hope you guys liked it. If you did, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, leave me a comment, share this around. You know, first time I've ever bought a system right on the first day of launch um i did get the warranty on it so i'm gonna tell you all get that warranty it'll save you money you know if something happens to it you don't have to pay 500 dollars again you can just get a new one um so yeah hope you enjoyed it this is kanan remember me and jess love you all very very much take care of yourselves i'm sorry i'm really tired <laughs> And I'm going to go enjoy my PlayStation 5, and I will see you in the next one. See ya.